Greg Abbott issued a letter to state agencies today. This follows multiple executive orders this week and what he says is an effort to protect the Lone Star State. Now, this letter, like those executive orders, involves China. It directs state agencies to divest from risky investments related to China. Now, in Monday's executive order, Abbott asked DPS to target criminals acting on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party who harass dissidents. On Tuesday, he asked state agencies and universities to harden their systems against hostile foreign nations. And then yesterday, the governor called for preparations to protect critical infrastructure, including the state's power grid. With these actions coming down back to back to back, we want to know about the indirect implications. As KXN's Barrett Tryon goes in depth to explain, some of them may cause a ripple effect far larger than what's on paper. Oh, it's it's really interesting on the timing. Uh, I'm not really sure what to make of it because many of the things that um, the governor talks about have been things that we've known for years, if not decades. State Representative Gene Wu is not sure about the timing. Nothing. Maybe it's because the legislature is starting up and people are filing bills and maybe he's trying to make a point. The governor saying in his executive orders this week, quote, the Chinese Communist Party has engaged in a worldwide harassment campaign and quote, Texas will defend and safeguard itself and our public treasury from any potential threat, including those posed by the CCP. Wu points out Texas and China do a lot of business together. Tens, if not maybe even hundreds of billions of dollars in Chinese investments in Texas. You go up and down the Texas coast, it's nothing. It, it, there's a ton of Chinese um, company petrochemical plants out there. The initial reaction is that, you know, Governor Abbott is up to his same old antics. With Cynthia Choi is co-founder of Stop AAPI Hate. The organization works to end racism and discrimination against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Really, policies like this and rhetoric... Um, really contributes to an environment where Asian Americans are viewed as uh, with suspicion. We requested an interview with the governor on his timing of these orders and worries from groups like Choice. His press office referred us to his orders for any, quote, official statement. In Austin, Barrett Tryon, KXAN News. And the latest move has been a year in the making. Abbott, along with three other governors, encouraged Vanguard, that's an investment management company, to create isolated market funds to prevent risks posed by the Chinese Communist Party. It's worth noting, six years ago, Governor Abbott urged President-elect Donald Trump, who was in office at that time, to rethink imposing steel and aluminum tariffs against China, saying, quote, they may threat threaten future economic growth both in Texas and across the country, end quote. He added Trump would also be punishing Texas because the state was importing more than twice the amount of aluminum and steel than any other state in 2017.